All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first week of the CPC Major Season 7. I'm the coach of the Carioca Crooks, El Bon, and for my first week, I'm facing Dick Bunny and the uh, Sail Sharpedos. I don't know how to say that name, sorry. I'm just going to say Sail Sharpedos. And I'm not going to do a Team Builder video because I have better things to do with my life, such as drinking leaded paint. Uh, so I'm just going to make the battle videos. Anyway, I'm going to briefly talk about the team in broad. My whole plan this week was to sweep with Como. I had a Rock Polish, uh, Close Combat, Outrage, something else. Earthquake, yes, Earthquake. Como. And my plan was to set up spikes, weaken stuff I need to weaken, like Mawile, Dawn Fan, and Amoongus, Breath of Liberty dead. So, and I had Z Outrage on Como as a last resort, because I knew I wouldn't be able to weaken everything. But uh, as long as I was able to weak uh, most of the mods, and only one was left, I could use the Z move to dress muscle through it. So... I brought Klefki to set up spikes, Kalma and Gary the Ward to help with the Mungus, and generally takes a hit well from Latios. Uh, I, I expect him to bring Z Ghost Latios to muscle through my Gardevoir. I brought Incineroar, which actually switches in on Mega Mawile pretty well, which is something not, not many mods can say they can do. Um, Assault Vest in Cinero to also help me with Latios, helps me with Weavile, helps me with Musharna, which he didn't bring. Uh, I also brought Mudsdale, it's my Stealth Rocker, it's just a bulky offensive Mudsdale with a, a healthy berry, like a figgy berry, whatever. Um, and last I brought uh, Cartana, which is I think it was SD something, I forgot. It doesn't matter that much. Uh, I was trying to fake Scarf mid-battle, but we'll get there when we get there. Uh, I was doubting bringing Kartana or Milotic, uh, because it, uh, mostly your Brodom Wash. Uh, Kartana helps a lot with Brodom Wash. And I was scared of bringing Kartana because of Moltres, because Moltres actually walls Kartana pretty hard. And one of the Moltres weaknesses is Stealth Rock, which my team doesn't really have any, doesn't have it, doesn't really have too many good Stealth Rock setters. It only has Como and Mudsdale, which are both fairly manageable, and they're they're not that reliable rockers. And Como is also my Z user, so if I bring rocks on it, I probably have to uh, bring some other stuff. Uh, I mean, it's a slot I'm dropping so I'm probably not gonna run rocks on Kamo too much and this is the team we got uh, I honestly did not expect him to bring uh, this thing Mian Shao because I have three Pokemon that are four times fighting resist such as Gardevoir, uh, Sigilyph and Rebombi I didn't bring two of them but um Everything else is fairly expected. Weavile uh, is the only one that he has that's faster than Rebombi, so that's to be expected. I have a lot of hazards, so I expect him to bring a removal one, most likely Dawnfin or Defog on Latios, but I, I was, I was honest, like, honestly expecting like defensive Motris over me and Shao with Defog, Toxic, Roost, and something else. But alas, it was me and Shell. And of course, Mega Mobile, that's all expected. So, let's get rid of this and start the match. So, I leave Mudsdale. Uh, the reason why, it's my rocker. And I was more or less expecting him to leave Mobile because Mobile gets a free kill against everything. It's not Kartana. And uh, Kartana is a terrible lead. In my opinion, because he could easily lead Latios or well, I guess it's good versus Weavile, but it's terrible versus um, Among Us. Uh, me and Shadow, it's Scarf, it kills me, so I will never stay in. And Mawile also takes a uh, Cartana Heat and 
kills it back with Fire Fang. So uh, Kartana here only really helps with Dawn Fan. It's in risk of dying against everything else and against Weavile. But he leads um, uh, Mian Shao and I just die. That is a choice band, my friend. That is a very abandoned Mian Shao and it Oko and Mudzeo, which is impressive to say the least. And I'm playing this game with five ones, apparently. Well, by the damage, obviously, you, you need choice band to Oko and Mudzeo. So it's clearly choice man, it's how good. Uh, I quad resist high jump kick, so I just throw my Gardevoir in because everything else just dies in my team to this monster. And he goes into a Mungus. I just click Will Wisp because I was expecting a Mawile switching because he just switched a Fighting type into a Poison type, which is kind of a baller play, but sure. Like, even though my Fairy Stab is stronger, I could still just click Psychic, but sure, it works. I catch the, the Mungus with the Will Wisp, takes damage. And here I click Calm Mind. The reason why I click Calm Mind is I was expecting him either to double into Latios to take a Psychic to Scout or maybe go into Mawile so at least I can, you know, scare him out or whatever. And if he doesn't uh, double into Latios, if he stays in, the Calm Mind is going to give me a plus one special defense so I can take a Sludge Bomb. And he stays in the Click Sledge Bomb, it does 36, which is not a lot. But he poisons me, which is very annoying. Yeah, the poison is annoying, but honestly, I don't think it would have mattered if I didn't get poison anyway. Because now I'm at plus one, and I click Psy Shock, and he reveals it by Appa Berry, it takes 57%. He hits with the Clear Smog, lowers my attack. So now my Guard Wars at 21%, and I'm thinking. It doesn't do anything else. Uh, the only reason I still would like Gardevoir is to like burn the Mawai or something. Because Weavile just killed me at this range. I guess I could burn the Dawnfan as well, but he, he can just Ice Shard me. And looking at his team, the only Mon that really can take Kartana hits right now. Like, I, I know Kartana loses it to everything 1v1, but nothing really switches in. So, except for this thing, so I decided that if I have to sack my Gardevoir to kill this, I'd rather do it so. And I still have a turn of poison, so if he switches out, I can just switch out myself in the following turn. So I just click Slyshock again, expecting him to stay in, and he does, and he loses his Among Us. And I take poison damage, and he comes me and Chow again. Like I said, I have no switches into this thing. Literally all my all six of my one just died to high jump kick at this point. And he just U turn gets out, fair enough. Into Weavile. And I go into my Incineroar. Incineroar hard walls Weavile. Even if he's low kick, he's just gonna die to the flare blitz. And he just switches out into Dawn Fan. And I U turn because I knew I would be able to do enough damage to that thing with U turn, so I just scouted. And I go into Dawn Fan. Uh, sorry, he goes into Dawnfan, I go into Kartana. Uh, this is the only one that Kartana safely forces out, so I can just click Leaf Blade safely every time. And he intimidate. He comes in with Mawile, intimidates my Kartana, which is good because the the fact that he's intimidating means he's not hyper cutter, and him being not a hyper cutter means that I can just switch hard in Cinderor without fear of. Uh, he resisting my Intimidate to Hypercutter. So I Intimidate him and he Mega Evolves and clicks Play Earth. Uh, kind of ballsy clicking Play Earth on a Kartana, but whatever. And this guy likes to play aggressive, so fair enough. And I take 46% from Mega Mobile, which is very nice. And he lowers my attack, but at this range I can still kill him with Flare Blitz. I'm adamant. And he goes into Dawnfan. I Take the Flare Blitz, set, and I take Recoil Damage, and I'm 47%. Uh, and then I go back to Cartana, he set up Stealth Rocks, and goes Latios, I click Leaf Blade, and get a crit. Uh, this crit is quite interesting, because 
The fact that I got a crit here and it did exactly 60%, which is funny because a non crit should do 40. So there's a bunch of bullshit going around here. I haven't revealed I wasn't Scarf yet, so he couldn't. He could think I was Scarf. I, I still wanted to like pretend I was Scarf to scare out Weavile and stuff like that. Uh, but I also didn't want to risk my Kartana cut because of the Dawn Fan. I'm still not confident it can take it out just by combo alone. So I switch out, and the fact that I switch out first uh, shows me that. Well, he he doesn't switch out, but I don't, I I thought I knew he he stayed in, and he just clicks Z Ghost, uh, probably just burning because. Yeah, Clef you hard walls this thing except for Ghost, hard walls and stabs. And now there's Stealth Rocks that are up, I just click Defog, because my Incineroar, I don't want to take it Stealth Rock damage and hit Shadow Ball again, I tank. I take this opportunity to just set up a layer of spikes and sack my Clef key to bring in my Incineroar back in safe. And I knew I could take any hit, uh, he, I assume he has to be timid because no human with the ability to function should bring a uh, modest Latios versus a team with a Kartana but yeah he's clearly timid I, I could just say Kalkut but I just assumed he was timid and he was Z move so no life form no specs no anything I knew I could take a Draco because the funnily enough the max roll versus assault vest is 46% and I was at 47% he clicks Draco, I live, I get knock, and he dies. Good, good exchange. Now, in comes the Behemoth again. Like I said, every time this thing comes in, I have to sack something, and down goes Incineroar. He's clicking U turn. And comes back Mega Mawile, I go into my Katana, I just click Smart Strike, my best move to hit it, it does 46%, and he kills me back with Fire Fang. Maul is at 15%, I go my Como, he can sucker punch me, but it's not gonna do anything, because it's a Como, I just click EQ and he dies, and now, um, uh, at this point I pretty much lost already, but if he goes me and Chow, there's a chance he can miss, and his Weavile was Scarf, by the way, was Scarf Weavile, and he, he didn't have Ice Shard on it, or on Dawn Fan. His down fan was Rapid Spin, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Play Rough. I think. Pretty sure that's the set. And his main shot was Banded. So, HAK has a chance to miss. Weavile doesn't kill me. Uh, not even with Ice Shard, I don't think. Well, sorry, Ice Go Crash. Actually, I think it might. I'm not sure. I'm not going to cargo right now because it doesn't matter. And down fan just allows me turns to set up. But, you know, the fact that it may... Well, it's a mobile, so maybe not. But anyway, he, he goes down to here, which I'm like, wait, I think he just choked. So I think I can set up on this, because um, generally, Como sets up on down fin pretty reliably. So I just click Rock Polish here to outspeed the Weavile and the Mian Shell. But sadly, he reveals the play rough, which is like, oof. And I don't die. That's We calculated after the game, this was a roll. It was a, exactly a 50-50 roll. And I think he got the absolute min damage or very close to min damage. So I lived. And now, speaking of 50 50s, uh, this exchange is another 50 50. Because what happened here is the following none of his moments have priority. Dolphin doesn't have Ice Shard, neither does Weavile. And at this point, I'm faster than his entire team. And Ioko, his entire team. S except for Don Fan. And I have a Z Outrage in the back. If I click Z Outrage and if I click Z Outrage and he stays in, I win. If I click uh, Close Combat and he switches out, I also win. I mean, I don't win, but you know, it's gonna be another 50-50 because he can bring Dolphin back. And I click the Z move. Actually, I do win because I just click the, the Z move. And if he switches out and goes back in, then he's in outrage range because of the spikes damage. Uh, so if he switches out and I click anything but my Z move, I uh, I win. If he switches out and I click Z move, he wins. If I don't click my Z move and he stays in, he wins. And he switches out. 
but sadly I do click my Z move and I do Q the Mian Shao but uh, as you can see he brings back the Dolphin and now it's outside of range of everything we caught the outrage damage uh, I'm asking if he had HR, he doesn't have it I'm calking the outbreak damage and uh, it does like 41% max so there's no chance I kill this I just click outrage and he lives and he eats a figgy berry and the earthquake kills me so we lose 2-0 uh, not that bad I lost to be honest it was a pretty close match uh, I actually liked this match a lot, it was fun, I had fun playing it, even though I lost. Uh, the Moa, the Mian Shao fucked me over, even though I really wasn't expecting for multiple reasons. Because, I don't know, Rebomb mostly because of Rebombi and Gardevoir. I feel like choice Mian Shao was weird. But regardless, uh, an L is an L. Uh, I, I think I under prepped to be honest. He definitely out prepped me being Brayleth on Dolphin. I did consider Roselli Berry at one point, but I don't think it would have changed much because I wouldn't have had the Z move to kill the Dolphin, so he could have just played rough twice and I would have died anyway. Um, so, yeah, it was a pretty fun match. Uh, like I said, play rough kind of fucked me over and nothing I could have done about it. I could have prepped better. Uh, in hindsight, I think I should have, I, I could have brought a different win con, a different strategy. I think it would be more efficient, but like I'm, I, I built a team with like 12 months, so it's hard to think of every single possibility right at the gate. I'm still getting used to my team, you know, I don't know everything these months can do. But we'll see. It's a 2 0 loss, it's not that big a deal. Half the people have got to gotta start the, the season with a loss anyway, so we're gonna try to bounce back, alright? See ya.